We're less than three weeks away from the pivotal midterm elections. And with some late in the game debates and early voting set to get underway, we want to make sure that you're informed, prepared and connected to November. And yeah, we got you covered. Meantime, the big debate takes place next week. This week in politics, Aaron Parsegian joins us with a look at that and what vote by mail numbers could tell us about turnout next month. This week in politics, we were fresh off the first and only Senate debate, and it was fiery. But now all eyes shift to Monday. The top of the ticket here, incumbent Republican Governor Ron DeSantis and Democratic challenger Charlie Crist. They'll face off in their only debate ahead of Election Day this coming Monday in Fort Pierce. Will it be as fiery as Rubio versus Demings? That remains to be seen. Of course, the senator who has never run anything at all but his mouth. The congresswoman likes to talk about helping people. She's never passed a bill. But it also brings about the question of, do debates actually sway the minds of voters, especially this close to Election Day? and with hundreds of thousands of Floridians already having voted. And these are the numbers as of Thursday morning. 947,000 people have already turned in their vote by mail ballots. That number will likely cross a million in just a couple hours when those numbers are updated. Now this may be a sign that this year's midterm will see a high voter turnout. Typically turnout is lower than in presidential election years, but the last midterm, 2018, saw a 63% turnout here in Florida, which is huge in comparison to others. And we'll be watching to see if that trend will continue. We do know based on registration numbers from the end of September, there are a million more voters in the state than there were then. Also, Republican candidates like to see this, Republican voters outpacing the number of Democratic voters in the state, a trend that just started last year. Have debates changed your mind in the past or even this year? Let me know on social media. Also, with early voting set to begin Monday, we're here to help. You'll find all kinds of information, early voting schedules and locations broken down by county, candidate profiles, and other stuff to help you make informed decisions. Just head to our voter toolkit. That's on the homepage of our website, 10tampabay.com, or you can get it on our free-to-download app.